Hi and welcome to an idea of calibrations, how to calibrate your gas detector video. Today we're going to be looking at the MSA Altair 2X CO unit. And I'm going to get this started up. Press and hold this button here. And then while it starts up, we'll go through the equipment we need. So, first things first, you need a cylinder of gas. This is 60 part per million carbon monoxide is the mix for this unit. Check your expiration date. Make sure that the expiration is good. This one's good. 2024, 2021 right now. So, got our gas. And we have our regulator. This is a 0 0.25 liter per minute regulator uh, with a C10 fitting. And this one's nickel brass. You don't need anything good for reactors for this. So, first things first, let's get this all set up. Unscrew the valve on the regulator. So you do that to open this passageway here so gas from the air doesn't get trapped inside your cylinder when you make this connection. And take this here. Now that it's open, screw it in. And then once you hear gas hits, just like that, go ahead and close the valve. And that's closed. This one just takes a second. And continue screwing it into your cylinder. There we go. Okay, now take your tubing and put this on here. Now one thing I'm going to warn you on, on this unit, is that usually you have a calibration adapter. This one, however, there's no cal adapter. The tubing just goes right in here. So you got to make sure you're using the right size tubing. Uh, this is eighth inch ID. So what happened, what we're going to do is we're going to put this right in here when we do our calibration. So practice doing that a few times first. Make sure you get the hang of it. It's hard to do one under pressure. So to get to calibration mode, I'm going to press, long press this button, wait for a beep, let go. Okay, it says bump. We just don't hit anything. We'll get back to that. We'll do that a little bit in a moment. And we're going to let this go through its setup. So it tells you the peaks alarms. Now it's telling you the Stell. This is the TWA alarm. This is the highest point you had there, and it says zero. Press the button, and now it's going to zero. And we're going to get ready with our tubing here. Okay, it says pass. Span, press the button. Now put this in here. And go ahead and turn your, your regulator on. One thing I might not have said earlier is, is the regulator you want for this is a 0 0.25 LPM regulator. That's the recommendation from MSA. So that's open now. And it's going to go up towards 60. And so when this, as this is going up, it takes time for the sensor to read how much gas is there. So what you're seeing is this curve where the readout goes like this for the first 90% of it. That's called the T90. There's a time associated with how much time that takes. And then it kind of levels out. And as it slowly levels out, uh, that's, that's what the sensor is detecting. It's detecting when it gets stable. They have a set amount of time that they know it's going to happen on most of the sensors. See it passed, good deal. Pop the tubing off there. Unscrew or close up the regulator. And this will drop back down. We're gonna wait for this to get down to zero parts per million. Now let it clear out. And then we're gonna press this button, the long press, and we're gonna show you how to do the software bump. So there's two types of bumps uh, that they have that you can do for this unit. There's a qualification bump, which is just where you're gonna take the gas, put it on there for about, say, 15 seconds or so. Make sure that it all goes up and that it sets off all the alarms. And then there's also a software bump that you do using the software on the unit. You can do either one. Um, I, I like actually going through the unit and seeing the alarms for myself, so that way I know they're working. Who knows when a, a horn goes out or the flashes go dead on you or the vibrating alarm uh, keels out on you. So I'm gonna show you that way first. This is the old fashioned way. So what you used to do is you would just take, take your gas, pop your line in, in normal reading mode. Turn this on for about 15 seconds. You don't have to count or anything. Uh, what we're looking for is just making sure that the sensor is quickly reading the gas and going towards its intended value. It doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be close. And now we're watching for our flashers. We're feeling the vibrating alarm and we can hear that horn going off. So we'll pop this off. Close up the regulator. 
And now if we had paperwork, we would go through and note that we tested this, we, we checked it, it, it passed the bump test, it, the sensor was functional, the alarm horn went off, I could hear the vibra I could feel the vibrating alarm, I could hear the horn, etc. And if you we need a bump sheet for that, if, uh, for an Excel spreadsheet, you can always email us, we'll send you one over. So the other type of bump check, it's a software bump, and this is the one that's going to be on your data log. So if you were to pull the log off this unit using your GX2 system or using uh, the MSA software with the IR hookup, you could pull these logs off and see what the actual data log was. So you can see when you bump it, you can see your history. So here's how you do that. Go ahead and press, long press this button, wait for the beep, let go, bump, press it. It's going to go into a mode where it's looking for the gas. Apply the gas. And when it gets up to the value that the software finds acceptable, it will notify you and say pass. There you go. Turn this off. Pop the tubing. And we'll let that go down. Okay, if any of you had any questions or anything, you know, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 734-956-0539. The email, send an email in, is support at idealcalibrations.com. Or you can leave a comment. We'd appreciate it if you'd like or subscribe. Uh, that helps us out. It helps us keep subscribers and keeps YouTube happy. Uh, one thing that you may want to know is just turn it off. You just press and hold this button here. And it'll turn itself off. There you go. Thank you much. You guys all have a great day and stay safe out there.